the Laurel Racing Juvenile Maiden Hurdle is next. Uh, just eight runners in this, I'm not surprised at that, because most people normally got at least two four year olds, you'd have thought there'd been a four third or thirteen for this, but anyway, Triple Sparks at the top for David Robertson, and you're gonna like it, Joshua Sutherland, Corson's Pride for Martin and Duo Trapani, Darren Thompson, Good Time Girl, Graham Clutterbuck flirting around, Leon Van Rensburg, Imaginary Symbol, Alex Cherry, and Royal Pawn for Craig Beckwith. The four year old hurdling division could be wide open this season, then, couldn't it? If there's only eight in this, it's the only four year old race of the week out of way and racing. And, uh, some people, of course, will have, will have two, so they wouldn't have been able to put the second one in. Uh, we'll still only give us 16, and there are two four year old races at Cheltenham. Uh, interesting, flirting around then is the first one to show. Uh, imaginary symbol is just showing second. They sorted themselves out. They've got seven flights to take in all in this one. And flirting around for Leon Van Redsburg is a two to three length leader from You're Gonna Like It in second. The Joshua Sutherland Colors and the Noseband. And closest to us is Good Time Girl in Graham Clutterbox. Second set of colors, Alex Cherry's Orange and Blue. After that, with Imaginary Symbol, as they will eventually get to the first flight. Already covered the first half mile of the rest, and we've not seen a hurdle yet. There we go. And then also, if we have that one with Treble Spark, just the back marker, but flirting around, he's not hanging around, and leads by four lengths or so to you're going to like it in second. Imaginary symbol just showing third, then Good Time Girl Joe Trapani in the purple with the white sleeves is on the inside, and then a line of three at the back. And it's flirting around, skips over flight two with a clear lead, a good five lengths. So you're gonna like it second, Royal Paul has now moved up on the outside into third, and imaginary symbol is fourth, with Treble Spark and Duo Trapani, the back two, Corsten's Pride and Good Time Girl as they take the third. Four more flights to take then in the final mile of the race. And flirting around as the lead is down to three lengths now. So you're gonna like it second, Royal Pawn third, Duo Trapani on the inside of that one. Is now just taking that third position away. Then imaginary symbols after that treble spark next, and then Corsten's pride and good time girl being held up at the back of the field. Flirting around. Comes into flight number four shortly. When I say shortly, it's right around a corner that we can see in the distance. And flirting around, we'll lead into it now. Second is Joe Trapani now, as you're going to like it. She's dropped back into fourth. We've given that one a bit of a breather, maybe. But the leader is only two lengths clear now, flirting around. Joe Trapani is second. Imaginary symbol is third. One or two of them from the back, and now starting to make a forward move mistake there by Joe Trapani when making its move. Might have given that one something to think about, but flirting, flirting around is back into a full length lead again. Corson's Pride is now making some good move around the outside. One's dropped back now is Royal Pawn. They're over the third for a moment. They've got two more flights to take, and flirting around is had it all his own way so far. And the lead is five clear over the second last, and does not like it stopping. Corson's Pride moved into second, and he's starting to motor. Then comes Joe Trapani and Treble Spark, and Royal Pawns after that one. They're racing down towards the final flight, though, and the leader's over it clear. Flirting around is a good six clear from Corson's Pride and Treble Spark are trying to close but they're not getting anywhere near this leader at the moment and they race up towards the line and it's going to be another one for Leon Van Rensburg is flirting around takes it it's going to be close for second Corson's Pride and Treble Spark with Joe Trapani after that one and then Royal Pawn Good Time Girl was next you're going to like it disappointing and imaginary symbol was the last one to finish and that was a pretty easy win for flirting around, and if there are not many four-year old hurdlers around, that one's got to be the top of everybody's triumph hurdle list already. I would think a pretty convincing win. Or flirting around for Leon Van Rensburg. Second was Corson's Pride for Martin Liam. Treble Spark for David Robertson was third. Jumo Trapani, Darren Thompson fourth, and Royal Pawn for Craig Beckwith was fifth.